Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is episode four in the Beauty Basics series and this one's all about eyebrows. Now eyebrows is a topic that I get questioned um, tons about on a daily basis and yeah, I thought it was about time to address this in a video for you guys. Now for those of you who don't know, I thread my eyebrows and what threading is, is a method of removing hair. Just like waxing, plucking, shaving, threading is just another way to remove hair. And I get my eyebrows threaded at a professional brow. So this video, I'm actually gonna show you how I like to fill them in and how I like to keep them nicely made up. Sometimes I don't have to fill them in when the shape looks really good, but then sometimes there might be um, some space or like hair that was removed from somewhere and it just looks a bit uneven and I like to just even them out a bit using some tools I'm gonna show you in a bit. I do have one tip though if you are going to do your eyebrows by yourself whether it's shaving, waxing, plucking or threading you can actually YouTube how to thread your eyebrows on YouTube and there's lots of videos on that. Um, I would give you one tip and that tip is to know how your eyebrows are meant to be shaped because eyebrows frame the face so what you should do is just grab either a pen um, or a brush I'm using a brush so I'm using the handle of the brush and just place that brush right at the tip of your nose now where this extends to your eyebrows that's where your eyebrows should start I don't know whether I'm doing this properly but hopefully yes it is so where your tip of the nose to there, that's where your eyebrow should start. Now if you move this slightly to let it fall right in front of your pupils, your eye pupils, that's where your arch should be. And if you move it right to the end of your eyes, so right at the outer corners, that's where your eyebrows should end. So that's like a rough guide of how your eyebrow should look and you can have them thick, you can have them thin, just as long as they follow those guidelines they would really really bring out your face and really frame your face the way your face ought to be framed. So on to this tutorial. Hello, close up. Right, okay, so these are my brows. These are then just threaded them in their natural state. Um, I think they look pretty decent already, but I do like to get them perfect looking. Um, so the first thing I do is I grab this, which is an old mascara wand, but I use it as a brush for my eyebrows. And then I just brush the eyebrows nicely, like so. So I can get them nicely. And then I grab something to use to, to keep the eyebrows in place for the rest of the day. You can actually use an eyebrow gel. I know Benefit do an amazing one, but it's so pricey, it's like 12 pounds or something. Mac do one, which is about 10 pounds. Um, but I like to use this, which is just a clear mascara. Not very clear now, because I've been using it for a while. But it's a clear mascara from MUA, which is just a pound. You can use any clear mascara that you have, um, and you can just pop into Superdrug or Boots or any drugstore and just find a clear mascara. And I just, brush that through my brows. Now what this does, it just helps it to stay in place. I do like to put my fingers and just press that down slightly so the hairs don't stray. You don't want any stray hairs. Filling in the brows, you can actually do one of two things. You can actually use a pencil. This one is spiked by MAC. I love this one, it goes really well with my color of my the hair and also my skin tone you can just find a brow pencil that suits you another way is to use an eyeshadow and an angled brush and this angled brush is my favorite one it's the 266 by mac and the color i, I tend to go for is this one called cork which is just a matte brown you can find any other eye i um shadows that um, are close to your skin tone and, and close to, not close to your skin tone, that go with your skin tone and close to the colour of your eyebrows. But today I'm going to use the spiked pencil and I'm just going to 
do tiny strokes and get this part of the brow as perfect as I can. I tend to leave this area, that way it looks a bit more natural. If I draw it in too much, it can look a bit uh, artificial. I mean, obviously, if that's what you want to go for, I, I don't have any problem with that, but this is just how I do mine and how I like it. Um, so I just do tiny strokes and then connect it to the tail of the brow, should we call it that? Yeah, that's all right. Like so, and then I just fill it in slightly. And then I take that brush again, my little spoolie, and then I just brush through it, like so. So it's always nice to keep the area around the brows looking clean, and this is where concealer comes in. And I'm taking my concealer, I use the Studio Finish in NC45, and just a flat synthetic brush. This one's uh, the Sigma Flat Defining Brush. You can use an angle brush for this as well. And then I'm just dipping that into the concealer, and then just, I'm going to just draw or make a, a little kind of outline on the brows. It just cleans up that area and makes it look like neat. And then I just blend it with my fingers. And then you can go on the top as well. I just take a tiny bit, not much. And I just blend it with my fingers. Now, if you want to, you can highlight that area even more. Um, I do like it like this, but I'm going to highlight it just to show you what I do sometimes. And I'm using Eye Bright by Benefit. And I just dot a really tiny bit on the arch of the brow nowhere else just the arch and then I just blend that in with my fingers and that's pretty much it that's how I do my brows I'm gonna even up that side and I'll be back so that's all there is to it I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it helpful if you have any questions let me know in the comments if you have any tips because I'd love to know what you guys do let me know in the comments as well and I'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye